What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making smash burgers again. That's right, smash burgers. We're gonna do another little experiment. This time we're gonna check different seasonings and see which one I think is best. So with that being said, when I say experiment, I want you guys to understand I am not a scientist. I've never claimed to be a scientist. I can barely read. That's not true. I do have a college education, but I sucked in science and I like to cook though. I like to cook, I like to have fun. That's why we do this. So for those of you who like to comment and say it's not an experiment because the hypothesis is wrong or this and that and the other, bro, relax. We're just having fun here, okay? If uh, Here's my science experiment. If you get upset about any of my experimental videos, maybe you are a little wound up. That's my hypothesis, all right? So everybody relax, let's have fun. That's what we do here. What we do here is try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. So we've got our smash burgers that we're gonna make. We're gonna start off with our 80-20 ground chuck. We've got 1.25 pounds there at 569 a pound which is nuts but it is what it is we're gonna make six three and one third ounce balls with those and we're gonna make three double cheeseburgers with our of course Kraft American cheese um actually Publix American cheese <laughs> so the first one is going to have just regular kosher salt and pepper that's how I normally do it just a classic smash burger the second one is coming from a comment that was made by Chris Fitzsimmons, who is a subscriber of mine for two years plus now. And he writes, and a fair amount of onion powder and a little garlic powder, you're welcome. Well, you know what? I do like comments, especially ones like that where I get recommendations. So we're gonna put those there. That's gonna be our second burger. And then I'll put this back. Our third burger is going to be with just Montreal steak seasoning which i've used these many times on regular fat burgers and it and they come out great as well so that's our plan those are the three burgers let's get cooking all right here we go we've got our six three and one third ounce balls of 80 20 ground chuck we're going to put those down in just a minute but first i'm going to toast up our buns I'm not going to put anything on it. No mayo, no butter. We're just going to toast them up because I like my buns toasted. And Blackstone is the best toaster in the world. Everybody knows that. They should by now. But uh, this should only take about a minute or so. So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. And we will get cooking. All right. Buns are done. As you can see, just like that. Boom. Here we go. All right, we're going to put down a little bit of oil. Just, whoa, that's too much. It happens. Don't need that much. Just get rid of half of it. Not a big deal. Don't really need much. Just want to lube it up a little bit. Um, so it helps prevent the smash burger from sticking. And as long as you don't turn them too fast, they're not gonna stick, but we don't need that much oil. That's a little overkill. Let's get rid of most of it, actually. My bad, it happens. All right, here we go. So we've got our parchment paper, small sheet, about a 10 by 10. We've got our smasher right here and then we're going to put our balls down one at a time and go for it so here we go actually we're going to put them all down and then start smashing because that is the easiest way to do it one two three four ow be careful hot hot five six and then we start smashing aye 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 it's windy out here on the lake again here we go. Count to 10 in your head. Five, 
Looks good. Beautiful. Ow. Hot, hot, hot. Be careful. The grill is pretty hot. I forgot to check the temperature, but it's pretty much where we need to be because you want to cook these quick anyway. All right, that looks good. All right, right away, seasoning. Well, we know we're going to do salt and pepper on these. We know we're going to do salt and pepper on these. We know we're going to do salt and pepper on these. And we know we're going to do them on these. So there you go. Boom. Pepper. Yes on these. Yes on these. Look how fast we're cooking. The sear is going to be incredible. Right there. Boom. Garlic powder only on these two. As per my subscriber. Onion powder only on these two. Montreal shake just on these. I'm not trying to block the camera. I just don't want the wind to blow it all over the place. There you go. They are all ready to flip like right now. So we flip. Start with these. Oh my God, look at the sear. Look at the sear. That's ridiculous. If you want to check out these spatulas, I'll put a link in the description below and up the top as well. But yeah, these are looking good. Oh my God. We're going to turn them way down because they are like done. Time for our cheese. Looks good. The crust factor is out of control. I love it. Boom. Cheese, once the cheese melts, we are done. All right, I am going to give a close up of what I'm seeing right now because it's insanity. And then we will bring it back for a taste test. Let me wipe my camera first because I can see the grease spatter. All right, here we go. All right, let's go check it out. <laughs> All right, we've got our latest smash burger experiment regarding spices and flavors and stuff like that. I've never really tried this before, so this is a first for me. So we are going to do it together and it is hot. They're very hot still, but let me give you a close up right here. So here, let me get out of the picture. Here you go. We've got right here we've got just salt and pepper right here we've got salt pepper 
onion powder and garlic powder. And right here we have Montreal seasoning. So we will see which one is the best and we will go from there, so. All right, so here we go. First up, I know what this tastes like. This is my go-to, salt and pepper. It's a classic. Give, I mean, they're all gonna look the same because basically I cooked them all the same. Sorry, birds. But flavor-wise, let's give it a shot. Mmm. It's your classic smash burger. It's fantastic. No question. But that's my norm. Now I'm going outside the box. Here we go. Number two. The salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Looks delicious. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Sorry, plain. Wow. That definitely kicks it up a notch. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. That is phenomenal. Here we go, number three, the Montreal seasoning. Looks delicious. Mm. It's good. Very good. But, so if I have to rate them, which I will, one, salt, Pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Two, Montreal steak. And three, just salt and pepper. I never thought I would say this because the classic is so good, but wow, these are better in my opinion. Just my opinion. <laughs> so thank you subscriber, I appreciate the feedback and I want more feedback, please let me know. I'm willing to try different things, trust me I am. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat, 